Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back to another one of my videos. This is a video where I'm talking to you guys, finally. Uh, today I'm going to be giving you guys uh, 10 tips about Drug Dealer Simulator that are... Some people know about, some people don't. This is for both people that have been playing it for a while and for people who have just who've been playing it, just started. And I think the number one thing that you guys should probably think about is jumping through bushes. So, if you don't know, if you run through a bush, you basically do not maintain speed. So as you can see, my guy slows down. But, I can show you guys again here. You can see I'm running, and he slows down. So what you can do to maintain that speed is to just jump through it. Not losing any speed. Just jump through it. That is uh, advice one. That's very helpful for when you're getting chased by the cops or if you're in a rush to do some sales. Uh, for example. And I'm also going to show you guys some different routes to avoid cops. Um, so, for example, this is my house, uh, I built it pretty recently, a couple of weeks ago, uh, and I've seen many people just go through here for no particular reason. I would say that going here is the best. Cops never go here, they're never among among these buildings in here. So the best thing you can do is just run through here. Same over here. The cops can go to like here. So you're more than so you can run through here with no problem. The cops are never here as well. So here there's no problem. <coughs> and another thing if you come from the other way you can run through here. Let's say you made a sale over here in Stink. You are you can just run through here. You used to be able to run all the way through, but they blocked this. And you can go from here, which means if there are cops like right here, you can run past them and avoid them. Uh yeah. Let me know if you guys want me to do it more like deeply. Uh, about that like I can show you guys how to do this in sector B and sector C and more routes here in sector A But these were two examples to just go The left or right side, but depending on which way you're facing Because uh, the cops never go there uh, I can show you I can show you one more uh, One more thing and is that here Usually you start with having your ho house up here or your home but depending on how your high your exposition factor is, the cops can go through here. So this is not a safe place to run through every just when you feel about it. Uh, just when you feel when just when you want to. Uh, yeah. Uh, and let me know guys, uh, like I said, let me know if you want me to do like a more uh, detailed video about this. And I will try to do so. Um, and yeah, number three, drugs to sell and to not sell. Shady. I'm not going to tell you which drugs to, to sell or to not sell. And bear in mind, the prices that I have now is I have raised the prices from what they were in the beginning. So these are not the default prices. But I would say that cocaine and heroin are very much worth selling. Because cocaine, you buy for $25, you sell for 73 which I have now. And heroin, you buy for 17 sell for 40 which I have now. So these are very much worth it. <clears throat> and I would say marijuana is the cheapest alongside of ecstasy, but marijuana you can grow yourself. You can grow indoor plants, outdoor plants, and you can also 
get yourself a lab uh, that will do it for you. Uh, and I will I will do a more detailed video about that as well. So marijuana is also worth selling. Personally, I don't think crystal meth is worth it. The whole process of making crystal meth is very much complicated. If you guys want me to do a video about how to do crystal meth, I can show you guys, but it's a bit complicated. You need a flask, you need a mixing tray, you need a crystallize, a lab crystallizer, and it takes a bit of time. Uh, plus, you buy for 9, sell for 14, and of course you can raise this price accordingly, but personally, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, fentanyl uh, is something some of my viewers have told me that I should buy and use. But I don't think it's worth it, because fentanyl is a lot more potent than heroin, which means that it's a lot easier to overdose on fentanyl than it is on heroin. So fentanyl you should only use like a bare minimum amount if you have to. LSD, same, you buy at 4, you sell at 10. There's barely any profit at all. So I would recommend recommend to not use LSD either. Uh, you could use it at you could use it as like a mixer to use for DMT, but DMT is not something I would re recommend either. I have DMT enabled right now because I want to sell off the last few bits I have of it. So that's that's the only reason. Uh, mushrooms is worth selling. You buy F4, you sell at 14, which is like three times the amount. Uh, and I will tell you guys a bit more about that in a second. Uh, number four, perk tips. As you can see here, I have all of my perks uh, all done and dusted. I have everything full. But if you're just starting and you're thinking of, oh, I don't know what to spend my perk points on, the skill points on, here's an idea for you. I would say that runner and stealth are the, runner and stamina are the two most important. Because it might, you might have to run from the cops and to be able to run from the cops for a long time, you need stamina. So you can see here as well, it says, increases your stamina, making you able to run and jump fences longer. Runner increases running speed, makes you able to outrun police easier. <coughs> and I would also recommend you using, after that, recommend you using stealth and salesman. Stealth makes you, as you can see here, stealth skill decreases, decreases the possibility that you'll be spotted or controlled by the police. Affects your stealth at night and lowers the chance that the police will decide to search you at daytime. Salesman increases the price you're able to demand for your product and slightly increases sale numbers. Increases the time it takes for the client to make a new order and a, client, a new client to come. So those two are also very, very good. Illusionist is good, but I've seen that the amount of percent... It says gives you a slight percent chance that the police won't find drugs in your inventory when, ser when searched. And I've seen that it isn't that, like the percentage of, like the chance of them not looking into you is not, it's not, it's not worth it. Um, quick learner gives you more skill experience points and skill points, uh, but it's not really worth it. Pockets. Not really worth it, and this is also the most ex um, the ex most expensive ones to use. Uh, increase the number of pockets, making you able to carry more items without a backpack. And I would say this is the last thing you should spend your skill points on. <coughs> Buy a backpack or a duffel bag, and that will help you a lot more. Uh, number five, recipe tips. I would say. When making a recipe, the base product should always be at least 80%. So if you're, you, if you're making a mix of, let's say, cocaine, 
you should always have at least 80% cocaine and then 20% of others. So for, for cocaine, I use sugar and Viagra. Those are the two components that I use. So I have 20% of sugar and Viagra and 80% of cocaine. Sometimes I even use 85% of cocaine. But one thing that I have noticed is that in, with heroin, you are better off going with like 75% because heroin is a lot more deadly than cocaine. Uh, but again, if you want me to do a more detailed uh, information about uh, recipes and how to do them um, and what to do, what to use and what not to use, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, number six, exposition factor. This is one thing that's very, very important. <coughs> so here you can read for yourself. The exposition factor is calculated to take into account every criminal activity, including cells, police chasing, and arrests over the past three days. This affects the general visibility of your actions. Higher exposition means your means more police patrols on the streets and higher chance that you will draw DEA attention. The police may also become more suspicious. Hint, working at night, uh, night hours uh, lowers exposition by 50%. So, this means that every sale, every police chase, uh, every arrest gets this higher. So if it's at, like, I don't know exactly where it is, but around here somewhere, you may get DEA raided. They will take all your drugs, all your money, arrest you if you are near, stuff like that. Uh, and also one thing that's very interesting to know is that exposition factor accounts for everything. Giving out free samples counts and will hire your exposition factor if you're doing it during the day. Same as spraying walls also hires it. Uh, uh, collecting money from your dealers also accounts, and of course, selling, as it says right here, sales. Uh, yeah, so make sure to remember to do as much as you can during the night, and during the day, do uh, recipe mixes, so do the, like mixes of cocaine, heroin, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, because that will help you a lot more down the line. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, and when doing mixes, paracetamol and ibuprofen are pretty much the exact same. <coughs> so if you are used to making a recipe with ibuprofen and oh, you only have paracetamol, you can use that as well. So those two are pretty much the exact same. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't matter which one of them you use, uh, they work the exact same. Uh, number eight, put the plants visible to you so you can see them. So when growing weed yourself, like me here, I haven't bought new uh, weed seeds, but when growing weed yourself, put them visible. So when I come in, I see them directly. I used to have them in here, but since this door closes automatically and you can't have it open, I didn't see the plants, so I complete I always forgot to water them and stuff like that, so they died. I think I probably uh, lost a lot of money just because of that. So keep the plants visible and remember to water them at least a couple of times a day. And if you want me to do a more detailed video about how to plant uh, weed, how to care for it, how to harvest and stuff like that, let me know and I will do one for you. Uh, and here it comes number nine, weed and mushrooms. Usually when you buy drugs, when you buy cocaine, amphetamine, heroin, you mix them so you maximize your profit. Uh, but for me, when I buy mushrooms and weed, I don't, I don't do any mixes for them. 
So I sell them exactly as they are. Example here, I have two grams of mushrooms. I buy mushrooms, let's say I buy 100 grams of mushrooms, and then I just put them in here and sell them. Same with weed. Just when it's done, put it in here, sell. You get the, uh, let's see here. Uh, so here, I have marijuana, $5 sale, and $19. So uh, $5 price, $19 sale, I'm sorry. So it's almost four times the amount of money that I get. So I don't feel the need to do any mixes, because I, only feel, I already feel like I'm making a ton of money. Same with mushrooms. It's for a 12, so it's three, a bit more, like three and a half times your money right now. So definitely definitely worth it uh i'm gonna try raise my prices actually damn i cannot do that let me know if you guys want me to do a video about uh pr prices and how they work how you can lower and uh, raise them and i will let, give you guys a video of that as well and number 10, which is the last one that I have for you guys, is trash containers. So, you can go up to trash container like this. They are usually white or green. Press F. And you get question marks. It will search through the trash container for valuables. And these valuables are worth a uh, different amount of money see okay here you see it's all garbage so nothing in this one check next one <coughs> uh, this can be a bit tedious to do but it is worth it I would say okay, nothing in that one either a bit unlucky pun intended uh, check this one. Really hope I'm able to give you guys an idea of what you can find. Oh, there it is. Here, we have a wristwatch. These are worth $90. That is one example. We can go through this one as well, see if we can find something else. Uh, okay, okay, it feels like uh, we were a bit unlucky there, but searching those trash containers can give you a shit ton of money. I have made almost $4,000 looking through trash containers. And there are five different things you can find in there. You can find a can of spray paint, wristwatch, you can also find a bracelet, a mobile phone, and a necklace. The necklace are worth the highest amount of money. I think it's about 550 to 600 dollars. The phone is worth 350 to 400 dollars. Bracelet is worth about 300 dollars. Wristwatch is worth $90, and then spray paint. It's not worth anything, really. It's only used to spray areas. And if you want me to do a video more about spray paint and how they work, how you use them, let me know, and I'll give you a video of that as well. But, uh, yeah. That is pretty much it. Um, uh, I hope you guys like this video. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is my first video actually talking to you guys directly on here on YouTube. So this is a shorter tips and tricks video. <clears throat> I'm not going to edit this, uh, either at all, or at least not much. Let me not, let me get, let, oh my God, I cannot speak. Let me, uh, know what you guys think. If you want me to do like a video of something special, like the uh, routes for Sector B, Sector C, uh, how to uh, grow and harvest weed, 
how to uh, uh, do recipes, how to do crystal meth, uh, where how to spray, how to spray, uh, how all that respect uh, thing. Uh, uh, you have respect in different areas, and I can give you guys a video on exactly how that works. Uh, uh, yeah. So, let me know if there is something that you want me to do a video of outside of that. Uh, otherwise, I will probably do another tips and tricks video very shortly, or a video about Drug Dealer Simulator. Uh, and also down the line, I will probably do a video of Drug Dealer Simulator 2, which is coming out sometime this year. <clears throat> so I will do a video of what I think I should, of what I really want to see in Drug Dealer Simulator 2, and what, what I would not see in Drug Dealer Simulator 2, what they could change in Drug Dealer Simulator 2, stuff like that. And I can also give you guys a video of what's expected already of that game. But yeah. So let me know guys what you think, leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe to me if you haven't and if you're really interested in getting like news and tips about this game and Drug Dealer Simulator 2, let me know guys and I will deliver. Thank you, take care, peace and yeah, follow me on Twitch as well, Unlucky Swee, uh, yeah, take care, peace and